Hello, my name is Jeff Flaherty. I'm a member of the Education Services Lab Support Team. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Interface Range and Configuration Groups features in Junos OS, both of which will allow you to create smaller, more logically constructed configurations, ultimately making it easier to configure and maintain your Junos device. Let's first look at using the Interface Range feature. Interface ranges allow you to specify a set of identical interfaces as an interface group and apply a common configuration for those interfaces. They also allow you to reference interfaces as a group and apply that range elsewhere in the config. Use of both lexical member ranges or individual or non-sequential members is permitted. It should be noted that the interface range statements accepts only physical networking interface names in its definition. No logical interfaces are permitted. To configure interface ranges, you can include the interface range member and or member range statements at the Edit Interfaces hierarchy level as shown here. Both member and member range commands can be used in the same interface range. Wildcards and expression ranges are only allowed when using the member command. Let's run through an example. In this case, I would like to configure a set of interfaces in a common VLAN named Finance. Also, let's assume the Finance ports all need to be PoE capable. Because the interfaces I need to configure are not all contiguous, I'll use both the member and member range commands to include all the interfaces I need. For this demonstration, I'll use both expression matching in the member command as well as the member range command to include a range of interfaces so you can see what they both look like. First note that I have no interface configurations in place. Next, I'll add an individual member to the interface range named Finance. Now I'll demonstrate adding a range of interfaces using the member command and a simple expression. Finally, I'll use the member range command to add a range of interfaces. Next, I'll set the finance interface range to be members of the finance VLAN. I'll also configure the finance VLAN before committing the config. Finally, I'll use the finance interface range in the PoE hierarchy to define the ports as PoE capable. Before committing, you can see the range being applied by using the show display inheritance pipe command. Mm -hmm. 
You can see the inheritance here. Now I'll commit the changes. I'll spot check a few different interfaces in the ranges I configured and use the pipe accept command to make the configs a little easier to look at. And finally, I'll display the PoE inheritance. Now let's leave that in place and move on to configuration groups. Configuration groups will enable you to apply common configuration elements to multiple parts of the config. You can create smaller, more logically constructed configuration files making it easier to configure and maintain a large config. The use of wildcards in a configuration group allow configuration data to be inherited by any object that matches that wildcard expression. The configuration group mechanism is separate from the grouping mechanisms used elsewhere in Junos, such as BGP groups. Using match conditions require the relevant parts of the configuration already be defined in the config. To enable configuration groups, you include the group statement at the edit hierarchy level. To apply these groups to another part of the configuration, use the apply groups group name statement anywhere in the config that the statements contained in the group are needed. To exclude a group from a particular part of the config, use the apply groups accept statement in a similar way. Let's run through another example. In this case, I want to make the interfaces I configured above using the interface range feature into access ports, except for GE0010, which will be a .1Q trunk port. You can use angle brackets to define matches based on wildcards, where an asterisk matches any zero or more characters and a question mark matches a single character. The use of wildcards will prove useful here, as will the use of the apply groups accept command. Okay, let's get started. First, I'll show you what the interface configurations look like before we begin. Note just the interface range is configured. Next, I'll configure a group named Access Ports. I'll then include all Gigabit Ethernet interfaces and configure them to be Access Ports under Unit 0. Be sure to remember the angle brackets when using wildcards. Next, I will apply that group at the interfaces hierarchy using the apply groups command. Finally, I'll use the apply groups accept command to exclude Gigabit Ethernet 0010 from inheriting the group configuration.
I'll also configure that interface to be a trunk port. Again, before committing, you can see the group being applied by using the show interfaces display inheritance pipe command. You can see the inheritance being displayed here. Note that even though our configuration group used a match condition that specified all gigabit ethernet interfaces, only those interfaces that were previously configured via the interface range feature are being shown. Now I will commit the changes and quit. We'll verify once more, and you can see that all the interfaces except for GE0010 inherited the appropriate group configuration as expected. This is just a small example of how you can use configuration groups to simplify your configs. Other uses may include disabling a set of specific interfaces, configuring common interface media parameters such as speed or duplex, or even more complex parameters such as applying various neighbor configuration statements to a certain set of BGP neighbors. As you can see, using both configuration groups and interface range features, either individually or in combination with each other, can simplify your Junos configs and also reduce the time it takes to configure a device. And while I've demonstrated these features here on an EX series switch, they are available in any Junos-based device, including the MX, SRX, T, J, and M series routers. Additional information about these features can be found in the complete software guide for Junos OS for EX series switches, and elsewhere on our website. I hope you've enjoyed this quick demonstration and found this information useful. Juniper Learning Bytes. View more at www.juniper.net slash learning bytes. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bytes. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.